everybody, this is Grammy Mary, and I'm trying to get my stupid thing to be... Ooh, and I hear... Hmm. Oh, now it's gone. Okay, nope. Okay, I'm hearing weirdness, but that's okay. Ah, okay. Um... Do, do, do. Too bad no 24-inch TV for the boobies. <laughs> Go on, Meister Brow. Okay, hey, guess what, y'all? yourself, poor man. <laughs> We're on the dork table, and I'm trying to figure this shit out and trying to make it yeah. to where we don't have too much static. Yeah. And Push some got dandruff, some of it Do itches. Let me You're the pilot. I just, I just sit here and torment you. Yes, you do. But yes, but you make this ship fly, number one. Oh, I do? <laughs> well, okay. So I'm... Apparently, we got this far because you do the stuff. I ah. just talk a bunch of shit, but you do all the hard work. You and Grim and Moose and Rob Works and everybody out there that's taking the time to do it. Yeah. And I tried it. I tried it with Moose, and I did my best, and I forgot to hit record, so I decided to stay out of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. You know, yeah. it's like if you had an airline pilot and he said, well, I've had a couple of hours of practice, would you fly with him? Uh, you know, I really don't want to do this, but oh, I've had a few hours. I'll try it. <laughs> We're ooh. going to Miami. <laughs> I don't. Ooh, I don't know about that. That makes me a little okay, nervous. Are we straight now. I don't know. I just went on a rant. Oh, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Dork table. Dork table. Dork, 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 dork. So, y'all are listening to the dork table. I'm hearing bacon frying in the background. I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We've always got something. It's freaking cold outside, and even the internet is is sizzling. Brr. I know, I know. You know, it doesn't yep. do the bacon frying when you talk. So, See, because boobs were designed to keep us warm. Oh. Yeah, it keeps your hands warm at night. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh well, that's true. Well, and then your hands keep the boobs warm at night, so they're not. They're not frozen not, witches tits. I don't even wasn't even getting involved in all that part of it. I was just <laughs> thinking about me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was being a selfish little dork. <laughs> ah, oh, you know what? Your volume um, is not very loud, my dear, and I've got my Skype turned way up, which is probably you, where you I'm. You want to do the intros, and I'll I'll call you back. I'll dislocate and i'll reboot it and lo and call you back okay I've and i'll say hey there hi there to everybody okay okay bye bye okay let's see oh and you know what there it went one flash hung up so um i will turn my i got to keep my little levels up y'all are listening to the dork table and right now it's just me grammy mary because well flash and i are having technical difficulties imagine that <laughs> We're here on reallibertymedia.com channel 3 and the rlmradio.xyz site and, and lots of other places. And let me see. Um, over here on Mines, I think Flasher liked it. And I'm not real sure about anybody else but that. Hey, there's Flash again. Sweet. Take two. Yay. Okay. Yeah, we still got. But that's okay. Uh -oh. And and my my Sam went way down. Am I a bad influence on the radio, too? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, God. Dang it. Volume levels. I Level it out. Level it out. Well, you want to uh, try calling me back? No, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, okay. Because actually, mm -hmm. it's, it's okay now. Okay. Um, it's just that your volume isn't really loud, and I don't know if you can turn your mic up a I little bit or. I got it up as f I got it so high it it's like near a camel's throat on it's, my camel oh, meter. So it's higher than you it's even. Higher than me. <laughs> wow. Hey, ain't you funny? That's Ooh, that's really yeah. high. Never want a joke on the dork table. So how far did <laughs> you get through the hellos? Uh, I didn't get very far. <laughs> you Okay, so over on Minds. Hey there, anybody over on Minds that's listening in. Anybody that's listening in on Spreaker, hi there. And if you want to give us static, come on over to the RLM channel and join the chat because, yeah, I'm not coordinated and neither is Flash. So, you know, there you go. 
over here on the Freedoms Network site where I have lots of bacon that's playing in the background. I <laughs> Hi, Grimmy. I also see T uh, Katie Troxel is over here sharing things. I have a rascal in my lap that's kneading the bread dough on my neck, and that doesn't really feel good. Sweetheart, you have claws. They hurt. I also see T.D. Sanders and Java Doctor over here on the effin' site. And let's see, over here, Fakie Book. Uh, Fakie Book has no activity, which doesn't surprise me one damn bit. It's been getting deader and deader as we go. And to those people in the RLM who have been giving us static for all this time, and we love them for it. Let's see. Now I'm gone. Now you're gone? Oh, now I'm back. Now okay. you're back. Okay. Couldn't hear you at all, yeah. Really? No, the end, the last like five five words, you were just blank. Oh. Maybe you were talking and I was trying to type or something, I don't know. Huh. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Cool. We're playing this, like this game of tag on with headphones. Oh, it's fun. Very strange. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Proceed, Miss Mary. Continue. Proceed. Proceed. Leave things that you do. Okay, yes. the things that I do. So, over in the RLM, right up top, I see Barman, the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. And then Grimner is here. Hey, Grimmy, thank you ever so much for sharing the blog out there. And you know what? I need to put the little, I need to put my condiment back over my mic. Ouch. <laughs> Well, I uh, have this little fuzzy thing that goes over the mic, and it... Yeah, oh, yeah. That's what they call it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, let's see. Grimmy, the so lovely Kate is in the house. Hey, Kate, how are you doing? You know, um, when, when science masters the solar-powered vibrator, men are going to be in big trouble. Yes, they are. And you are really... Okay, that's it. I'm going to Skype. I'm going to my tools, I'm going to my options, oh, and okay. I'm going to see what the hell is going on here. We're conflicting. Because, yes, we are, because I'm not, I'm not hearing you at all, and it's weird. Oh. Stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> hey, you're, you're coming across really good. A homo with a bag of pickles. <laughs> Okay, yeah, see, there you came through really good. So I don't know what the heck the deal is. But I don't know. you're not coming through good on on um, my, uh, what is it, over on Sam. So what the hell? What the hell? You're, you're the technical oh, genius. You know I, what? I just, I just make bad jokes and talk about how I feel about shit. Okay, well, you just keep doing that then. And I'm trying to. It's my <laughs> life's work, Miss Mary, because, you know, I was going to be a brain surgeon, but, well, brain surgery school was a lot harder to get into than I thought. Oh, okay, yeah, question. They wanted me to read a book. Question, you know, with what? your headphones, where's your microphone at with your headphones? It's <laughs> in front of my face where I talk. You know, okay. the hole that I talk well, out of. Oh, it is. <laughs> okay. The Cause, mouth, there's the mic. Because I know there was times that you used to have it up by your eyeball. So I'm just, I'm, I'm troubleshooting here. Yeah, huh? No, it swivels. When I, oh. when I do this, no, I oh. move the mic so I don't scream into the mic. Oh, okay. I like okay. to watch certain moves so <laughs> boots giggle. <laughs> You know, sometimes <laughs> you just get, she'll be like watching a TV show or something. Uh huh. And I just, and I just yell something, but I move the mic out of the way so it sounds, sounds different. She hears it and she, jiggly boobs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about her boobs anymore. Oh. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> But I thought, being as it was the you know the opening of the show today, that we'd go with it. And whatever seems to have happened, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine, but I, you're not I, coming I, across I, Sam real good. So. Okay. Well, fuck it. Let's go through the show, and it worked or it didn't work. We'll give it a shot. Okay. So yeah. where are we, and what the f hell are we doing, and why? <laughs> uh, I don't know what the hell we're doing. I don't know why we're doing, but you know what? You are joining us here on the dork table, and I'm still saying hey to everybody. Asmo hey. is here, Asmo. as well as BTC Bob, BTC Bob. and Chalcedony. Chalcedony. 
Um, I also see the lovely Circle is logged in, as well as Chloe. Hello, oh, oh, honey. <laughs> hello, honey. Hello, Cycles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what it is. We'll just do this, and we'll mm -hmm. do this. I'm playing. I'm playing. Oh, Stop baby, that. She's playing. Stop. Watch out. My, my stereo mix thing is messing with me. Okay, you know what? I'm going Wow. Oh, hey. Sounds hey. like fun. Yeah. Let me I let me guess check this there's one. There's no cat on your lap through this extravaganza. Actually, there is a cat on my lap. Uh, multitasking. Yeah. Yeah. Talented. Wish I was like you. I know. I'm so special. If I was like you, then we'd have to find somebody else to be me, though. Then what would we do? <laughs> oh, good lord! Oh, he says my volume is quite low. I don't see how it could be. It's it's up as high as it's gonna go. So. Outside of rebooting every, everything, I can't tell you what I did. Okay, I think I got your volume back up there now. Oh, Say something it was else. You, no, you I'm I'm playing with oh. the volume. <laughs> Ooh, you hear I'm, that, guys? <laughs> I'm playing. Actually, I'm playing, playing with my Dell volume. audio thing. <laughs> and yeah, uh, down in audio in the same sentence. This is good. No, Dell <laughs> audio. Oh shit. Okay. Boy, did I screw that up. <laughs> Okay, so I had yes. this there. Now, say something again. Hey, are you there? Uh, testing. One, two. Oh, here, I'll read my see? Sprouse question for Denmark. <laughs> it's oh, disgusting. for Denmark? Yeah. Is Dork like European or German for Dick? My Anglo Saxon understanding of word linguistic and gut instinct tells me. That Dinkle Dork or Dingle Dork means ding dong in EU. <laughs> ah. Have to have to ask the EU folk, but don't think they'd call Dork Fest if it meant Dick Fest. Help me out here. Wow, that sounds like a hands problem to me. I can't tell you anything, Woody. Oh, I, yeah, Woody. I, That's yeah. yeah go, PM Hands. He'll clue you in on all the ins and outs of that kind of shit. I guarantee. Yeah. Okay, it's my stereo mix that keeps messing with me. That's what it is. That's what well, it is. Set it straight and tell it to do what you tell it to do, like everything else. Yeah. Uh, That's what I'm now, trying. The Grimnir man said so. It is so, number one. Take us what on is the that? journey. Okay, volume is good now. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yes, thank you, Grimnir. Yeah, I'm still I'm still adjusting adjusting the volume. I'm playing with the ah, the settings. Shit. Yeah, good. With the the speaker and the microphone That's... and the and the freaking stereo mix keeps and I want it to stay right there. Stay. Stay. Don't move. Uh, okay, damn thing. Things oh well. women want they can't have. I uh, know. I was... uh, know. Well, uh, thought it would be a little bit more difficult than that. <laughs> okay, well, no. Hey, you Never. don't see me doing all of this push and button shit, do you? Okay. Uh, uh, there's no camera today, dear. I we're, know. We're, we're rough, roughing it. I know we are. Technical. We don't, we don't camera when we have technical difficulties on the dork table. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's see. Where was I? Circle. Chloe! Circle. Chloe! Chloe! I'm just here. Just one Chloe. Yeah, just one Chloe. Java Barry. Doctor 2 is in the house. And Jay Dredd. Hey, Jay Dredd. I also see JJ's is here Not as me. well she as. Is. Hey, looky. Juana Taco is here too. Juana Taco. Okay. Hey, Woody. Oh, there we go. Hoody Doody Woody. Huh? Yeah. Woody Woody Woody. We'll play with. I'm playing with a. I'm uh, uh, I'm playing with shit. Uh, I'm playing with still, shit. Yeah. She's still dinking around. Yeah, I'm still adjusting the ball, the volume, adjusting the volume. I'm I'm messing with settings, and I probably shouldn't do that, but I'm doing it anyway. In any case, let's see. Where was I? Juana Taco, Meister Bra, the party dude. You have better hair than Trump. I should hope so, hun. Even if you were bald, you'd have better hair than Trump. Um, oh, sorry. Did I say that out loud? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> P. Bunyan is here. Tom Burr. 
Yeah, the lovely rain is in the house. Oh, you got rain in the house, you got trouble. Uh, <laughs> RLM Fluke is here as well. <laughs> Hello, Fluke. Hello, Fluke. Oh, God. How are you? Mm. <laughs> I also see Rob Works is in the house, as well as Trusty Feller Trust No One. And then looky there. Number one. Colfax 101, that sounds like a college Colfax class. Colfax 101. Dakota is here, and Dima, and Dorky Lynn, your lovely sister-in-law, almost kind of, sort of. Flash yeah, Nasty. Sooner or later. Yeah. Sooner or later. Yeah. Flash Nasty's here. That's yeah. you. That's you. Uh, I know that's you. <laughs> I also see Frumpy, and Kozu, and Moy, 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 Moy. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Poxified and Pompo Pod Poxified. Sauce is here. And looky there, Sock Poxified. Puppet. Eggs. Puppet. Whoa. And Slim Jim Flim. Slim Flim. And Teddy. Teddy. Yeah, the Teddy. cuddly one. Or, oh, or not. Ones. Wow. And yeah. Phantom 2 is here as Phantom. well. I finally, you know, even with all of our technical difficulties and all of my faux pas and stutter fingers yeah. and all that fun shit, still under 20 minutes. Ha! Yeah. Ha! That's because, see, that's why I chose you to hostage at the dork table. Ah. You know, because you're never going to get anybody to willingly go to the dork table. You have to be taken against your will. Or it's oh. not real. It's kind of like a dork law. <laughs> oh, a dork law. Okay. Uh, I don't. I was making a joke. I don't know. You can take it all seriously. Grab a bottle and start drinking now. <laughs> Ooh, chug a lug, chug a lug. This is just your life. Don't take it too fucking seriously and get all excited and have problems. Enjoy it. Um. Okay. I gotta admit, it's an acquired taste and takes and? a little effort. Takes a little effort on the participators. Part. <laughs> ah, on the on the participators' yeah, part. It, yeah, it's not one of those things you can just sit in a room and go, okay, there it is. No, you got to get out and actually do it. Ah. A lot of moving and thinking and interacting and crap like that you got to do. And uh -huh. the end result, the, the end result of that is called happiness. But society's fucked it so up so badly that it's like a torture to go get gas at a gas station now ah okay yeah. you don't think so that life is so over complicated the real physical world that it actually stresses us when we're in it interacting and we all hate each other for a few minutes a day <laughs> oh i don't hate each other for a few minutes a day I, I, nobody no, well, no. There's, there's not anybody that I hate for a few minutes a day. I either detest <laughs> oh, them all no. the time, or I, wow. I <laughs> just ignore them. I, wow. I, You're I, just a sweetheart, aren't you? Well, I mean, it's just one of those things that if I go, if I go there, if I go mm -hmm. to where I just truly detest someone, it just stays there. That I just <laughs> stay there. <laughs> Wow. Well, you must not have a very violent life then. No, I don't. Well, you know what? What's bringing me all crazy today? Mad What's that? as a March duck. Well, it's, it's a well-known fact that uh, water seeks its own level. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, hold that thought. Uh-huh. But life has been manipulated so badly for the last 40 50 years through tv and movies and and so on what they've done is they've made abnormal things that were popular they call them normal because 12 percent of the population likes it not popular they call it natural and normal and they mislead you uh -huh. it, this is what the majority is doing so it's okay when no it's a fraction and we've been trained to accept any fucking thing the government tells us as that's the way it is. Ah. Well, yeah. Because when the government says I so. See. Well, right. But this is what I see. You know, and all this crying and whining over the years. Oh, protect my rights. Oh, I've got a right to this. And, and the only thing you're doing at the time, at the time you're crying for all protect my rights is just talking. 
Yes. It turns into gun rights and I need a right for this and a right for that when the only thing you're actually doing is speaking in the first place. So you're using your right. I don't get what the problem is. Well, I don't get the pro the the thing with somebody else has to protect my rights. Aren't they supposed to protect their own and and you protect your own? I've never ran into a real life situation outside of law enforcement that required any of that information. Huh. People have never just walked up to me and put me in, you know, holds and handcuffed me and taken me away. Only the police have done that. The human beings I've encountered, most of them were civilized. And there was a few people that weren't, but it was a touch-and-go situation in the first place. Shouldn't have been doing what I was doing, and that wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Okay? yeah. So I was, yeah. But it takes a lot of years to admit you made your own mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I oh like I've made my bed a time or two, and it's like, wow. <laughs> Do, what you, the hell? do you enjoy blaming other people for the shit that you fuck up? No. I know I do. Oh, yeah. It's one of my hobbies. Sure. No. No. Sure. I knocked the table. Yeah, you know, I knocked in the table and the, the thing fell off and broke. But that was the dog that did that. Oh, now, see, I blame the inanimate object. I blame the table for jumping <laughs> out in front of me. But the point is, is, you know, there's some points in life where the truth is just so fucked up that telling it is beyond your ability because you're in a panic about, well, crap, if I tell the truth, this psycho might whip me for a couple of minutes and I don't want that. So let's blame the cat. Oh, and see, I just I just would prefer to go, wow, the truth is so freaking obvious that I'm going to sit here and I'm going to say something just totally off the wall and <laughs> see if maybe you'll pay attention yeah. to the off the wall as opposed to the obvious. So, so we're all born into learning how to be deceitful in time to get you eventually. Well, yeah. I didn't, I didn't start out that way. When I went to school is where I learned how to be a, a deceitful um, little whatever it is. You know, I didn't have that, that dishonesty thing didn't come until I, I had mixed with all the school thing. Oh, and see, I, my youngest daughter really taught me, because I thought, I thought kids were, you know, basically honest. And they are basically honest. But my youngest daughter, I caught her one time. And, and, you know, it was the obvious question. But when they're two and three years old, you have to ask the obvious questions. I caught her in the kitchen, up on the counter, getting into the cookie jar. And I went, are you getting into the cookies? And her hand in the jar, she turned and looked at me and said, no. And, and how many kids were in that particular family? Uh, she Well, there's two. Okay. But her older sister would have went, uh-huh. <laughs> well, you're assuming... But, no, okay, her older sister would have done that. Maybe that's some of our, of us. It's in our nature, and I believe that the school brought that negative side of me out. Ah. Yeah. And it only took them a few, about five or six years, where I was just so adamant about not going. It was it was like an act of God to get me to go. Ah. Might have been. 13 or 14 by then but the damage had already been done from school years and years before I knew that there was any damage to me ah you don't well you don't have an opinion on that kind of crazy shit well you no. usually do or are you reading a link <laughs> no I'm still playing with the volumes <laughs> well I'm watching I, the, I, the the my little graph thingy and and Watching when you talk, and so I'm kind of, oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I got a, I've got a wall up over at Minds.com, uh -huh. one of uh, Grimner's fierce uh, competitors, and I've uh, managed to put some of the best of the best links that I've encountered over the years on that wall. Ah. Yeah. Well, it's it's like um, it's like free um, Freedom's Network. Only it works a little quicker it, 
and there's a little more traffic, but it's yeah. the same principle, the same, uh, what do you, I, maybe not the coding, but the same style of, of, of face that goes into that went into this. So I got a, a standing record somewhere of the stuff that, and it's getting people actually looking at it. And I'm getting plenty of um, thumbs down stuff on my comments on such. You know, people are more honest over there, I think. It's like being in the RLM. Oh, uh, yeah. Only, only without the that familiarity with who you're speaking to. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. we all got our preconceived notions of each other over the time on the Internet. And when you meet each other in face-to-face, -face, it's like, well, I was close. but Because uh, mm. I've met a few people um, in face to face to face that I'd originally met on the internet. And when I actually met him, I was close, but I wasn't quite, quite there. There's huh. always a little more to the person than I ever could have thought when I meet him in nose to nose. Ah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's like me. I met Cirque uh, on the internet, but nose to nose, it was a little bit different than, you know, what I had thought, you know, Obviously, I mean, Obviously. We, we stayed together. Yeah, but I, I knew I was on the right track. But oh yeah, and she she just loves your puppy dog eyes. I know. <laughs> well, right, but not everybody. You know, not everybody in the world has the. Uh, I don't know if the word is freedom about them, but I just decided to just get up and leave what I was doing and go. And, and, you know, a lot of people can't do I forget that. My brother has to remind me of that sometimes. You know, other people ain't you, stupid. You know, they 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 do what they do. And you do what you do. And what you do, 99 of them out of 100 of them wouldn't even think about it, let alone do it. Yeah, so doobie doobie well, do. Well, right. But I underestimate, see, in my mind, to me, you're my peers. And you're all equal. See, I don't have that kind of judgment until we start debating shit in per you know on now on the internet is as in person as i'm gonna get now but it's different ah okay you don't you don't think that the nose to nose is different than the uh, electronic world oh i think it's drastically different but that's that's one of those things that a lot of people um Oh, how do I want to put this? Um, a lot of people, you know, will act like it's not different. You know, they'll go, no, oh, I would say this to you face to face, too. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, but for me, I mean, odds are I would say it to someone face to face as well. And I have. Mm -hmm. So, well, yeah, I know you, though. So there. So that's what I mean is the familiarity between me and you because we've spent a lot of time talking on the internet. We've listened to the other person's point of view, blah, blah, blah. We got a little uh, background going on. But to other people that may come on and, and see us on a link here and there or see us in a chat room, they don't they don't know what we know. Yeah. Right. But your human brain is so complex and so devious that it cons you into thinking you know shit about people based on what you read about their opinions. You know? And like I said last week, I'm just as fucked up about being a, an asshole on the internet as anybody else. The difference is I admit it. <laughs> uh, that's true. You know, I'm not, yeah. not going to be right to everybody. I'm not trying to be right to anybody. I'm right for me and my way. Wow. I forget how unique and singular it can be seen. I think I'm like you and I'm, I am in a lot of ways. Me and you are very similar. And then there's that thing about, but you got up one day and went to Denmark on a whim. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool though. I mean, how many people can say that they just got up and went to Denmark on a whim? That's the point is the, that part of, of human development is beaten out of you in school. That's what I see. That's why I see school as such an enemy because when I was rebelling against everything, I was the one in always in trouble and getting punished. All the other kids were getting, I was getting past grade to grade. I was, I do that much, you know, uh, make enough points in their stupid test to get me out of that year and go in the next one. But I, it came to a point where I wouldn't study, <laughs> wouldn't show up. 
Well, I did that for a while there just because I was sick and tired of the bullshit going on at the okay. school itself. But then I, eh. I had those opinions of the of the education system in the 70s. And I was told how wrong I was my whole adult life. Oh, you wasted your life. You could have gone to college. And and here I am, the grown man end of the road thing. And I've had a few people come to me and say, well, you did what you needed to do to do. And it was better than what I would have had you do. Like my mom, my brother in a way has pretty much seen it that way. You know, the people in my family that saw me go through life, that know me, gave me a little something before they left. So I was bragging. Ah, see? Yay! Good for you. Well, life is all about choices, you know? And and I read a lot of internet. And I'm telling you, these people are victimized by their circumstances. And they want recognition and numbers to fight the enemy. And, and they don't understand that's the fucking game that you don't want to play. That's the trap you're in so that you'll act like a fucking idiot and not learn about cancer. And not learn about natural remedy or vibration or something useful that you may not be able to do anything about. But having the knowledge will take you closer to the people that will help you change whatever it is you want to change. Ah, yeah. Yeah, we're all fighting an argument. Everybody's fighting about this and fighting about that. And then there's a little fringe of people that are trying to improve and get some information out so the new guy knows how badly he's being screwed. But I'm seeing this problem come up. The person that looks at the information is insulted by it somehow and rejects it immediately. Doesn't look. Read a title, look at a few lines, uh, watch five minutes of a two-hour video, and then go, oh, that's enough. I'm done. They're wrong. Yeah. I've seen all that before, and yeah, I don't need to, I don't need to, I've seen something like that. Yeah. Mm. I was making a general kind of negative example out of it. I do it myself. Yeah. I mean, crying out loud, there's stuff on, on the uh, internet that it's pointless to even open it. To me, I mean, I've gone beyond being taught certain things. I don't need to see the same crap and read it over and over and over. I've read it. I know it. If that's what it is, that's what it is. If, you know, if every once in a while somebody will uh, put a good statement out and the link will be different than the, the comment. Uh-huh. But it doesn't happen very often. I think I've been trapped a couple times like that where I had to go back and go, hey, wait a minute. What did I like here? You know, because it sounded good, but something seems wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I understand that. Well, well, we're in this age where being fueled the negative is part of the game. It's part of the daily thing. You got to deal with it. Yeah. And we're accept we're instead of deny. Well, I'm trying to deny it by not fueling it. But I thought I'd talk about it to get it off my brain. You know, bring it up as a. You know, when whenever these poor people are going, oh, black lives matter, oh, white lives matter, oh, porcupines matter, well, fuck you. There is a whole planet full of shit here. You're nothing special. Yeah. Uh, and they were the fucking minority in the first goddamn place, so what are they fucking whining about now? <laughs> uh, I, and I'm, I'm related to a lot of white people, and I'm telling you, they don't treat me that way. I don't. And the white people I encounter in real life, but on the internet, there's this thing going, this hatred and uh, fight. And we're being played like a fucking bunch of grunts. I just don't know how to make that clear without being insulting. There's have, no nice way to say it, Mary. Um. <laughs> cry, cry. Um. <laughs> well, you know, there's. <sighs> There's some videos out there from some people that were top dogs with um, Facebook, you know, social yeah. media yeah. starting yeah. and stuff. And yeah. both of them actually said, or the two that I watched, uh, one was like the CEO and another one was in development or whatever. But um, both of them said they neither one of them participate in that kind of stuff anymore. And neither <laughs> yeah. one of them um, let their kids yeah. 
do. I read something about that. Yeah, wouldn't yeah. let their kids play online. Yeah, yeah, they can't. They <laughs> their they kids the can't truth. have Facebook pages. They don't have Instagram. They don't have Snapchat, which I think Snapchat is. God, talk about invasive. But I don't know. I've never opened it. Don't have a clue. I got to Twitter and tried that for a little bit and went, no, this ain't for me. And I just left it. Just don't open it anymore. Well, Twitter, I keep, I do, I've, I've lost stalkers. And, you know, that doesn't break my heart. Oh, fuck the stalkers. I'm talking about the content. <clears throat> we have, <clears throat> we have endured eight years of Obama, and before that asshole, we endured eight years of George W., and before that fucking asshole, we endured eight years of Clinton. And here we are today with a guy with six bankruptcies. He's one of the nastiest human beings on the fucking planet, brags about being the most hated thing on the planet, and he's the leader of the free world. And People sitting in that country are supporting this ignorance instead of seeing it for the stupidity it truly is. He's a world leader, and this he's acting like a 15-year-old girl on Twitter. Yeah. I'm telling you, people are not impressed. You're impressed in America with that crap, maybe, but it ain't going over good with people here. Well, you know, it's kind of... Mm. It's kind of what? It's kind of pompous to run around acting like an idiot, and there's always going to be support, and it's not the majority supporting Trump, just like it wasn't the majority supporting Obama, just like it wasn't the support the majority supporting Bush. It's a big game that we're being played. Well, yeah, because if you actually take into consideration how many people don't vote, <clears throat> you know, it really is a minority that supports any of that stuff. Yes, yeah. Well, remember when it was, oh, Trump's not going to be all warmonger motherfucker like uh, Hillary is, and apparently he's he's got a pretty good kill list going. Well, yeah. He's making things grating again. That's for damn sure. Well, Mr. Grimner says we're being played and we're out of tune. <laughs> Yes, we are out of tune, but that's okay. <laughs> well, you know, and I'm going to stick with that, at least knowing it. If that's the very best that I can do, at least I know it. And it's a lot better than somebody else that's willing to get violent and suffer for an, uh, a fiction that doesn't give two flying fucks about him the second his, pay, you know, his uh, check stop coming. And that's what it is, man. As long as you pay them, they're there for you. The minute you don't, well, you'll find out where your loyalty's at. It's right up your ass in prison with the next guy. Yeah. And they, I'm telling you, they put people in prison. They don't give a shit if you're in there in, like, county jail. They put murderers in there with people that are for walking your dog without a leash fines. Yeah. And the next guy's in there for murder in the first degree. You don't know who's there for what or who did what. It's it's a joke. Well, it, it's supported by this freaking society that we all participate in. These people are in nuts. And they call me crazy because I smoke a little bit of a flower. Yeah, but you Ooh. know what? To be deemed crazy by an insane anxiety is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, all right, all the cliches. There, some of them are true and some of them aren't. But this, what? How does a a society do anything? It's a fiction. It doesn't do nothing. You just have some stuffed shirt in a fucking suit with a title, judge or superintendent or governor or whatever fucking crap they come up with, and he tells you shit. The fuck is he? What the fuck am I listening to him for? And that's how I lived. <laughs> Seriously. Well, Didn't want to know. And see, I, I see did, society yeah. as a human tide. You know, and depending on which, what's going to pull that tide one way or another, that's the way society is going to flow. So there Ooh, is uh, a certain society, there is a society kind of thing going on, but it, it is a mm -hmm. collective mindset, but it's also yeah. influenced by externals. By. Yeah, well, look at all the violent, uh, the violent attitudes that are being brought out and manipulated, played off of, and entertained. 
And all it's doing is bringing the fear level up. It serves no purpose other than you hating that other motherfucker because he's going to get you. Well, what kind of message is that to send somebody? That's a kind of message that keeps people from getting together and ignoring your sorry ass is what kind of message it is. I mean, the only way you can get, you can manipulate people and maneuver them in the manner that you want them maneuvered is to keep them from being able to get together and go, wait a minute here. Yeah. Well, we're so divided, Mary. I think we're beyond any kind of true redemption but we will get these little splinter groups like the rlm you know little places to go where you know people that are semi in tune they they don't they can't get out of it either but at least they know they're in it yeah well at least knowing you're in it or at least Mm -hmm. you know kind of grasping the concept that's like i get shit all the time because i'm still on facebook blah 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 Mm -hmm. blah I've been on mm. Facebook for freaking ever. They've already mm. got all the information off of me. They all pretty much know. And I'm to the mm. point now where it's like, okay, mm. y'all got this information on me. I see your shit. It doesn't make a mm. damn bit of difference if I delete my account or not. You still got mm. that information because yeah. once it's on yeah. the Internet, it's on the yeah. Internet. Yeah. But I am mm. going to have fun and I'm going to share shit that's going to get people. I I shared some stuff this morning that... Facebook would not let me tag people in it. I had to actually go and post it on their pages because Uh, Facebook would not let me tag them in it. And it's like, you want to be that way? Fine. You dirty girl. So I went and posted it on their pages, and I let them know. Facebook wouldn't let me tag you on this shit, but so I'm just going to put it on your page. Mm. I'm going to keep doing this stuff until they boot my ass off. Whether oh, it's good, booted good. off of Facebook or booted off of the planet. Either way, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing until I get booted. Well, I just took a chance and copied and posted a link on uh, RLM for you. Thank that you. That monster link that I just posted on RLM should get you plenty of people to, if they look at it, they're going to, they're not going to like what they see. I'll tell you that. It's hard to watch. Yeah. It is. Yeah. There's a guy with a uh, autistic child. And it shows you the what the child started out at and where he ended up. And no, that's just one part of it. But it's just uh, the reality of life is so disappointing and traumatic. And they keep they're showing it to us like a horror movie. Well, and there's so many people that just plain don't want to see that. They don't want to acknowledge that. Yeah. Well, and yeah. then you know, and then yeah. the guilt sinks in because then they start going I did that to my own child or I did that Mm -hmm. to my own spouse you know that kind of stuff and they just plant yeah this is a design yeah but they just plain can't deal with that guilt so then they go all Stockholm syndrome (laughs) and they they do the beating down for the system because they oh I went with the system and now I see that I really screwed up really bad and so yeah. I don't want yeah. to acknowledge that I screwed up really bad, so I'm going to beat down the messenger. Yeah, true. Okay. Well, that's one side of it. But, I mean, when you're playing with life and death and it looks like a TV show, yeah. there's definitely something lacking in the person receiving that knowledge. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I'm... I'm just as much against the delivery of the information in a way as I am of the information, but it's like one of those uh, remedies that don't taste so good, but man, you take it and a couple of minutes later, you oh, my stomach feels so much better now. Thanks, Grandma. You know, yeah. one of those deals. Yeah. Well, it's like that, but it takes takes a lot of guts to sit there and and face what we become. Because that's us. You know, what? whatever I look out and see in the world is me. And that part of me that's just not the killer dealer guy, I want, you know, I want to be a big tough man. Nah. Uh, yeah, I've got a softer side, too, and that kind of shit brings it out, you know. And I want to stay tough and in control. Uh, protect my wife from all the viciousness of Freddy Town. <laughs> yeah. Christ, sir, can take the dog for a walk at 10 o'clock at night to the beach. Yeah, nothing. 
<laughs> yep. Hey, Cirque, how you doing? <laughs> that's that's her problem here. Yeah. You know, so anyway, like I've bragged before, I got a good good place to stay and all that. Nice neighbors are good, are good with each other, and, and the people that I live amongst treat each other pretty fairly. And then I go open the internet, and it's all this just fucking hate, 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 protect, protect, fight, fight, fight. Mm. Maybe I got to start learning to read another language. Because mm. everything in English, almost 90% of the English on the internet I read is depressing. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's comes a time you got to learn the knowledge, and there's a time where you know the knowledge and you got to let go of it. You know, okay, I know that. What do I do about it? And the only thing you can do is the impossible, which is tell the next guy. You're, you know, if you're prone to or think you have or somebody's trying to sell you a cancer program, there's natural remedy to take care of it. Don't do this. But legally, they can't. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Morally, they've been taught morally that these doctors are gods and do what they say. What they don't know is that Congress is chuck full of fucking lawyers and doctors that are making these criminal things they do to us legal. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. It's all in the wording. You can, if they can make cannabis illegal and then make it legal, then they could do it to anything. And they do. And that's why I'm so set against all government, all system, all this crap. Fuck all of it because it's up to the whim of the people that write the fucking legislation. We don't know what it means until you go to court and somebody else says something in Latin and you're in, in a fucking cell. Yep. Hey, well, Moosey's here. Moosey! Hey, Miss Moose. So, but I understand the trap of living in it and having to tolerate it. But it's escalated so badly over, well, I don't know, the last four, I would say 40 years because I grew up in one world and then saw the world I came out of turn into a shithole. Yeah. Hey, hey, that's what Trump was talking about. A shithole. <laughs> was Mr. Trump talking again? Uh, uh, Apparently everybody's thought, having, <laughs> excuse me, issues with him. Fingers. Calling something a Trump hole. Just sat, sat in the corner and yelled at somebody and called it tweeting. Uh, well, yeah, he does that too. But you know, and, and I just, I just made a, a doofus because while you were talking, I said calling it a Trump hole, and then it's yeah, it really is a Trump hole. <laughs> a Trump hole. <laughs> Instead of a uh, shit hole. <laughs> you outdid my joke. I see. <laughs> you are so funny. You want one? I got two. Oh, okay. Is Go that... for it. Oh. Okay. You got another one? No, sir. No, I don't oh. know. Oh, you're talking to Cirque. Okay. My wife. My oh. wandering wife came by. I thought she needed something. She was just getting a cigarette. Ah. The ah. beauty of radio. See? Yes. And so you could tiptoe over here and you'd never even know it. Yep. 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 She's a sneaky woman. I know. Huh? What is that about women? Anyway. I get called a ninja all the time. Okay. Now I got completely distracted by my little <laughs> wife over there. Yay! The rant of a freaking lifetime shot to shit in five seconds. Oh, darn. Darn. I'm telling, eh. Well, I'm subjective. I can, you know, I can take it or leave it. But, yeah, what I was getting at is... is the, the violence that is, you know, being pushed on us and people are willingly accepting it instead of denying it or justifying what the fuck is going on. They're just falling for the fight without any uh, without any more reason than the reason they're told as usual. Hate them. Be afraid of them. Kill them, blah, blah, blah. It's the same story. They just changed the race to fit the fucking um, country they're invading at the time. And then in five or ten years, the people they invade will be selling you cigarettes on the street corners, you know, in the the, the liquor stores and shit. So how, how many times does it take to learn that you're being had? 
oh, but you know what? If you admit that you've been had the last time, then that means you've got to admit that you were had multiple times prior to that because, you oh, know, yeah, you recognize totally. that. Yeah. And that's not a fun place to be. Yeah. It it takes chutzpah. It takes guts. It takes it. It takes a freaking backbone and a little bit of personal responsibility. <sighs> well, I can't say that I'm willing to do it in a foreign land. Okay. Yeah. It's different when you're a, you know, it's like I read all the stuff about all the illegals. and I read a thing about, oh, Trump's mom was Irish, right? So, eh. Rich people coming back and forth from Ireland to the U.S. and or not even rich people. They weren't even rich at that point. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't unheard of to travel on a ship and go back and forth from Ireland to New York. So I did a little bit of checking. It turns out there's an equal amount of people that want you to think his mom wasn't legal. You know, technically legal. Yeah. It was those she didn't file some fucking. Stupid paper. And I'm so against this in the first place. I don't even give a shit if she was legal or not. But this is how desperate people are to fight. Anything. any You'll bring your mother into the argument now. Well, why I mean, not? They brought his son into the argument first whoa, thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, why not? What the? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I grew up in a different world, little missy. I know, wow. but it doesn't Nobody surprise me him. one damn bit. Because, I mean, they started in on his 12-year-old son. It's like, Jesus, people. But I, I grew up with some really mean kids, and I'm telling you, talking mom never happened. Nobody did that. We at least respected the other guy's mom, even if we wanted to push his face into a puddle and drown him. It, you know, his mom wasn't part of the argument or the fight. Now, today, people will bring up everything and anything and shape it to make you look badly. There's no honor anymore, you know? Bring back dueling. Fuck all this shit that we do to each other now. If you insulted my wife and I said, oh, you got four hours to get ready for the duel. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. What did I, what did I do wrong? <laughs> It would be a different world. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and all this equal rights bullshit, we do have equal rights, and people just don't want to admit it. <laughs> no, they want more We're than equal. Treated. They want the bigger half. That's what this it, is all yeah. about. Money. It's got nothing to do with, oh, I don't get treated good. Those bullshit stories are just convenient. Oh, he grabbed my ass. Oh, she grabbed my nuts. Oh, he grabbed my... Well, never mind. But, <laughs> you know, well, I... Okay, I'll tell you. I read a thing the other day about a black Santa and a white Santa on mines. Okay. And, of course, that's going to – and it was after Christmas. But, of course, that thing's going to bring out the redneck in in some and the fag in others. So we, we ended up having a little debate on the, the link, short little bits. And uh, I came to the decision for myself. I don't give a fuck what everybody else thinks. But it's all a fiction just because a percentage of the world wants to fuck a cat does not mean it's natural. It means it's popular. That means that 1% of the population is going to do that. Well, where does making it natural come in? Well, the press does this. And they tell you, well, they inflate a number and they tell you, see, 80% of the people are doing this and make normal things out of complete weird shit. And after a while, you get tired of arguing because they're going to keep printing it any damn way. <laughs> yeah. But why not just come to the point of, no, it's popular, but not normal, not natural. It, it, that started. It's another argument. <laughs> ah. Well, what was it? Oh, um, Dr. Pappas had, a, had an article about... Um, Dr. Papas, yeah, that the, he's he's the, he's the, the well he's the chemist <laughs> that does a lot of uh, chemical breakdowns on essential oils, and he had an article about um, the difference between synthetic oils and natural oils or ones from plants, and he said they're both basically natural because all chemicals, you know, out there are if they are created by man then they are 
natural because man is natural is what his argument basically was. And he said, just because it's natural, though, doesn't mean it's good for you. You know, if it comes from nature or if it comes from tweaking and messing and genetically modifying and all that other fun shit. So, and he said that the one thing that people don't seem to recognize is although it may have all the same chemical components in it, it doesn't have the same amount, the same variables or the same relationships. And that's why what you get from a plant that has not been doctored with is actually better for you than what you get from the ones that synthesized it because man does not have the technology to synthesize as good as what nature does <laughs> on its own. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, little known fact. Oh, and to answer Moose, uh, I call any fucking place that is a uh, police state, guns in your face, searches, check you, show me your paperwork, that's a fucking shithole to me. So, if you think that America isn't a shithole, that's your opinion. But I don't share it with you. I'm just talking anyway, just voicing my whole opinion. If your president can say the places he bombed are shitholes, then I can say what I want to, I suppose. Well, I don't have to be right. I just got to be, you know, I just got to make up my mind I am. What was that meme? Um, it's okay to go and bomb a place into a <laughs> yeah. shithole, but it's not okay to call it that. Call it one, yeah. It's well, like, mm. that's pretty much what I mean. You know, the, the state of the world, I'm no more impressed with the government I that is here than I am is the one I left behind it or the one before that. To me, they're all one is the same. And any time somebody just demands that you show them documents and proof of something because what? You're walking down a street. What are they doing? They're bothering me. Well, I don't get bothered like that, but if it happens, I'm going to be upset. Oh, I know some people that, that are bothered when somebody breathes around them, and it's like, really? Right. They're breathing. What the hell? But in the States, it was becoming a matter of fucking traveling anywhere. Anywhere I went, there was police that was going to, let's see papers, let's see ID, bar checks, this uh, sniff dogs, you name it. They pulled all that shit. And that's not freedom. And I haven't endured that shit since I left America. So hmm, I wonder what the problem was. We're must so free. Me. It must have been me. No, obviously, I ran away because I didn't like it there. Oh, but we're Actually, so free. You hate us for our freedom, and you know it. Well, I have the truth be known. No, actually, <laughs> actually, to be perfectly honest, I had ne never thought about, I just did what I was doing, you know. Mom was getting better for a while, and then she got sick again, and I'd stay, and, you know, it just revolved, the door was going round and round, and I just kept staying. <laughs> and then it turned into this, and here I am still, you know, it's just, I live my life. I don't know. Where I'm at doesn't matter to me, but it sure matters to the people that want money from me for being alive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Moosey, that is a good one. I like that one. <laughs> we don't anyone want anyone uh, from those shithole countries. <laughs> that's, that's you. That's, yep. Well, I don't know. My brother was just in, uh, uh, what was that, Duluth and uh, Eau Claire. I don't know, a month and a half ago, back before the new year, to do some things in the States. And he was just dis displeased about having to be there. Yeah. So, mm, I mean, you know, I'm glad Moose has got a, got a good deal going. That's the whole point, is to be happy is not relative to your uh, government surroundings, unless you allow it to be. And for some reason, their harassment rubbed me so fucking raw that... Once I saw, I don't have to go back there if I don't want to. It's my choice to do whatever I want. Yeah. Well, then I just didn't go back. It had nothing to do with um, any, it was no big deal. It was just like waking up in the morning. No, nah, I ain't going to do that. I like picking a sandwich. No big deal. No big thought. No, no mind-shattering experience. Nothing. Just wake up in a different bit of dirt around a bunch of other people. Yeah. People are people everywhere, Mary. I mean, she's the 
the folks that interact with me here in Denmark are of all kinds of races, colors, and some of the white people. It's just like, wow. It's a it's a small um, San Francisco used to be. Once yeah. upon a time when I was a kid. Yeah, I used to run away and go there when I was in the 70s. Hmm. And, yeah, back in the day, man. The hippies everywhere. There was communes. And if you were hungry, go to a commune. Somebody would give you a bowl of split pea soup. You know, tired, give you a place to sleep. Could take a shower on the road you know real young but i had a way of convincing people i was a little older at the time and uh that's how the, the mentality is here the generosity may not so be be so much if i had been a dane i would be more welcome because be more familiar with me because i could speak their language well yeah yeah but outside of that they're they're nice they're the cordial yeah. It's not like home. Home was very um, racist. I always thought that about America. No matter where you go, there's always somebody that doesn't like some group or some tribe or some something, some state. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's well, to me, it's not racism. It's culturalism. Because well, we are it where it, want. we're the freaking not... human race, for God's sake. Well, you want to be reasonable? Oh, come on. We know we can't do that. Get emotional and think think with your girly bits. No, when I you... don't. Last time I thought with my girly bits, I got pregnant. <laughs> that was the last time? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> well, no, not the last, but the last... Okay, well, maybe. <laughs> you, might just, you might have just set a record <laughs> without even trying. But... But yeah, and, and see, there, and and I think what what see like what pissed Moose off is calling a fiction a shithole. America is a fiction. It is not real. It's only real if you believe it's real. Like when I was there, it was real to me because I was in it. When I was away from it, I learned, oh, it's not real. It's all an illusion. I had to learn myself. So you may never have to learn that lesson. See, your life might not take you down that road. You seem good where you're at and how you are. Well, in, see, and I don't see, I don't, where I live, I don't see a lot of the ugly and nastiness that's going on in the world. So to me, that seems right. very unreal. Yeah. So. Right. I, that's what I'm saying. I live here where nothing ever fucking happens. Oh, I saw the cops. First time, two, three months. Oh, well, my maybe a, God. Oh, since. Yeah, it might have been two months because I saw him when the, I saw thought I saw that bike accident thing. But uh, I'm sitting here looking out the window one a couple of nights ago, and the blue lights flying down the road out of town. And a circ, the cops, flying out of town. Weird. I wrote her on the Skype. It was just, it's so out, you know, that is my weird thing to happen in life now. Is the occasional cop going down the road. <laughs> and, and occasional being monthly, sometimes two. Yeah. yeah. And when they encounter me, they don't even give a flying fuck, and which is how it is, how it should be, because I'm doing absolutely nothing to nobody when I'm in public. So there's no reason to bother me. So yeah. they don't. Yeah. And but where I'm from, it started out that way and it turned into good lord every time i was fucking turning around checkpoints or id or show me your papers or what are you doing here what are you smoking you know what the fuck and if that's comfort mm -hmm. there's more of it for you since i left <laughs> wow so i was taking up a whole five foot four amount of space there baby <laughs> i'm trying to think of the last time i had to show papers Mm -hmm. Well, besides going to the doctor's office and, and showing them my insurance card. Um, <laughs> um, God, I can't remember the last time I had to show my identi my identification papers. Wow. Maybe I have to find a cop friend in your area on the Internet and, have them, and friend them and get them to pull you over and ask you for your ID as a gag. Oh, I'd look at him and go, do you don't know who I am? Shit, I, I helped <laughs> oh, yeah, do the I got, paperwork I on got, your car. <laughs> I forgot. Everybody knows. You. It's probably like, you know, Moose has probably known where she lives. You know, people that live somewhere and they raise kids and shit, they're not the enemy. 
in the first fucking place. Yeah. The enemy is the family of four that's got a boat. Ooh, yeah. Them. Those people. The, what, those people. Why the why one, is it why is it what you've got is what makes you an enemy? That just that to me it's like cool, you got a boat. Awesome. I'm just and being then, realistic. I the know, police, but the uh, the fines and now with this asset forfeiture Good God! If they accuse you of a crime, they can uh, they can uh, take your your shit away and charge the shit. <laughs> what? And then you got to fight them for eight years in court to get it back. Yeah. Well. If you don't know what asset forfeiture is, there is plenty of information on the interwebs to find out. And if it ever happens to you, I don't know what I would ever do if that would have happened to me. There's no way to fight it because the, what the law does now is they charge the possession instead of the person. <laughs> so they take the possession. Yeah. Take people's things. And, and yeah. figure they'll, out, they'll outlive you in court before you can collect it back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or it winds up getting lost. Right, or... because most, most of it's probably small amounts and, and it accumulates. They don't take big amounts for money from people that can afford to fight them in court. They take small amounts of money from people that can't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or everything that you have and whatever the case that is. Uh. But, okay, and I live in a socialist country where that wouldn't happen. Is if it... that ever happened, that was that's a criminal act and you're being assaulted. That's not the police doing their job. See, and I just, I, I just don't see that shit happening around here. Right, right, and, right. Okay. And I but am totally blessed. A, yeah. Except for the the young kid that got shot. Well, and that yeah. still wasn't in your backyard, but still. Mm. Yeah. After that, did things relax as far as the, the, the cops being intrusive and, inv and ev invasive with you around town that you notice? Uh, Well, actually, we had a couple of officers around town that left, but... Um, left. As really? in, yeah, no longer. And yeah. our, our uh, the well, in town where I work, the uh, chief of police quit because he just wasn't going to do the political BS anymore. And it's like, cool, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, they have, chief of police has a tendency to, that there's a very high turnover there. <sighs> And yeah. I think a lot of that is because there is some dirty going on, and they just plain ain't going to put up with it. And their best way to deal with it is to just say, okay, you want me to do this? No, I'm done. I'm out of here. Wow. So. Well, to me, all the trouble and problems are way, way far away over there or somewhere. Yeah, you know? well, and so. they... But you see, you see a lot of that shit on the internet because bad news sells. Because mm -hmm. bad news, you know, mm -hmm. that spreads like wildfire. But good news, hardly anybody shares good news stuff. You know, and it's like, why That's not? That's because there isn't really... The good news is that there's cures to what's killing you. The bad news is you can't afford them or access them. Well, but there's other good news out there as well. You know, there's there's people but. doing wonderful things every single day that nobody, you know, everybody just takes those things for granted. But, you know, and it's it's the ah shit and attaboy syndrome. You know, you can have 99 <laughs> attaboys and that one ah shit will erase all of those attaboys. Okay, and and I'm really I'm tired of, of that ah shit attaboy syndrome. Okay, and I'm saying over on Mines a couple of times. I've seen a few links where people have done exactly what you're talking about. There are some positive thinkers over there. Not yes. many. Very few, very small audience, hardly noticeable. But if you look hard enough, you'll find it. And it's yeah. because there's so much. People, we're all angry. We all want to fight. We all want to do this and do that. And the the truth of it is you're just in your house with your family or your friends or whoever you live with or don't live with. And the rest of the world it doesn't care to engage with you. It's an illusion. Yeah. They're doing things that are so far out of our personal control that if we join together to stop them, the, the fucking National Guard in America would just shoot you like they did in, in uh, 
Kent State. Yeah. Mm. So the people learned the lesson back in the 70s. You, the government ain't going to never listen to you. And we, some of us, made it to this time in history, and, and we're here to tell you it's a trap. <clears throat> and we know it's a trap, and we've been and survived the fucking trap. <clears throat> and there's plenty of people on, the, on RLM that know it. Rob Works and Grimm will tell you. But there's just as many people that will tell you it's not. Chloe and Hans, but I'm not going to name anybody. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I don't know. They think they think what they think, and I think what I think, and we try to communicate these ideas, and they're combative ideas because they want order and discipline, and I have order and discipline. I'm fine. I don't need you to tell me what to do. I, I'll do what I want, and it's simple. Do no harm. It's not hard. It, yeah. Well, maybe it's a little harder than I make it sound, but if you, if I give it a conscious thought and a little bit of effort, it's not so hard. And I'm a mean person by nature, and I could be nice to people if I want to. Well, see, and I'm I just generally well, you know, I'm yeah, I'm generally you, nice to people. You wear Eeyore suits on the radio to make me laugh. I mean, come on. <laughs> True. I mean. I've, I've, you know, and they, all these things they've said over the years, men and women can't be friends without sex and all that, that, I mean, all the crap we've been fed all through the years by the society that, that we're stuck with. We don't choose it. It's, it's there. Well, it's, and it's yet like we do virus. choose it because we go along with it. I mean, it's mm, okay. I don't think so. I, well, I, I speak for me. I don't go along with it. Well, no, you don't. But a lot of, you know, and that's that's how you have a society is people that go along with what the current flow. That is what a society is, is a bunch of people just going along with the current flow. Those uh -huh. that decide that they don't want to go along with the current flow, a lot of times they're called all kinds of names because it's so much easier to slur than it is to come <laughs> up with any kind of valid argument. I know, I know. I like to pick on people, too, when the opportunity shows itself and my little demon side goes, hey, let's go fuck with him. Yeah, well, or and her. I've been I'm known to do it as well. Prick. Hell, I yeah, have I'll... pet nicknames for Trumple Stillskin and Shitlery, and, you know, I got I got nicknames for him. But um, conversely, everyone in my family has a nickname, and we all earned our nicknames. <laughs> so, yeah. you know... <laughs> It's a term of endearment, if you will. <laughs> well, I just had a thought, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think, how, how could I explain to somebody that had my complete opposite beliefs, right? Let's uh -huh. say the, an educated, um, religious uh, family man, right? Mm -hmm. and, and then there's me. And say the topic was cancer. Uh-huh. Do you think that that man would listen to what I had to say based on my beliefs alone? Do no. you think that I would ever be able to open a doorway of communication if the guy already knew up front what I thought of his personal beliefs? Probably not. Then does it make sense to find a peer to pass that information on to him in a way that explains it to him so he's comfortable? It would it makes sense, but mm. it is also an act of futility if that individual is not ready to hear it. Well, that's what I mean. If you change the messenger, maybe the deliverer, the delivery would be more receptive to another person's point of view if they thought more like he did. You know what I mean? It's like uh, if somebody's going to talk anarchy with me and their side of anarchy is a bunch of drunk fucking speed freaks banging a cat, I'm going to be offended and tell them no. What is An it with you and people bang banging cats? What do you have against cats? Because there, there's a law in California I once read that it's against the law to rape a dead cat. And it's always <laughs> stuck with me as... Uh, the most shocking, one of the more shocking things I can say to see if you're fucking listening. <laughs> I get, wow. There's seriously a law on the books, but 
Who yeah, in read, the hell? I read it in obscure, book, uh, obscure laws, years. I don't know. There's so much of it out there. Oh, my I God. Mean, I just, I'm, the first thing that pops into my head is who in the hell was the person that got caught doing that to where they thought they had to do a law for it? There ought to be a law. Good God. George Bush's cousin, Steve. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Palomino. Oh. Yeah, well, that's why Steve <laughs> never made it to public life, because he was too busy with the cats. Oh, God. So, yeah. <laughs> so, they changed it. They changed Steve into George and sent him to Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hoped it would clean him up, but apparently it didn't work. Well, they They're didn't do best. the sex change thing, but they did do a little bit of rearranging, huh? <laughs> oh, Stephanie, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Forgot to tell you that part. Anyway, yeah, I could butcher oh, your God. joke. Just 1999. <laughs> I got country. Mm. Oh my goodness! I, I haven't traveled outside of my home uh, since 2014 with ID. Stopped carrying it, oh. and I've considered burning it a couple of times too. Ooh, cool. Well, see, the life I live is so different to the life that I came from that I don't even interest the police. They don't even look at me when I walk them by. So fuck them. So what's the point? They're not going to harass me until I do something so I don't do anything. It's that simple. That is how society should work. But we have at home been randomly checked and drunk checks and id checks and hey you might have some pot checks and all that kind of crap and it's all okay with the voter so they harass all of us while the voter sits home and drinks vodka and does you know pills mm, well yeah because they're trying to deal with society well i don't know why they do all that horse shit i i've tried that i can't even function on it so fuck they must be some really powerful people <laughs> to be numbed down that much and still even function. I uh, mean, you know, you got to realize they're making laws and shit out there while they're doing these things, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You don't think these senators go to a, an office and actually do anything, do you? <laughs> no, they have minions and underlings for that. Right. I mean, they don't even have the decency to have their underlings read the shit that they sign into law. They just, oh, it's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. Sign, sign, sign. Where's that dotted line? By God, I'll sign. Wait, where's my check? Can't sign till I get my check. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not a secret that these fucking Congress motherfuckers and senators get bribed. We oh, all no. know it. Well, they uh, they I, need to wear a frickin', you know, patches like NASCAR with all their sponsors. Well, I could never get anybody to support my idea of seceding from America. I was always on my own, you know. Hey, no, I don't want to pay taxes, but I don't want to this and I don't want to that. Well, we have to. My whole life. Oh, but we have to. And then there's this little fringe of hippies that went, well, it's risky, but you don't have to. I went, what? Well, the less you look for them, the less you apply to them and beg them for shit, the less interest they have in you. <laughs> yeah. It's a little known fact that when you apply for something, you're begging for permission. So if you never ask them to give you anything, they don't know you're there to take anything away from you. <laughs> it's a little known law, you know, it's called oh. blending in. Oh, well, oh. they've got us all. Well, now you can wear a dress to a women's room and now they got to let you use it because you identify as a woman in some places in the free world. <clears throat> or so I've been told. Isn't that and, wonderful? You have to do this. If some you have you have to accept someone's form, you know how they identify personally, whether that whether that physically or whatever um, is a reality. How they identify inside their loony little mind, because um, yeah. I identify as a millionaire. Wow. People laugh at me. I don't know why, yeah. but 
I feel I feel as though I'm very wealthy. <laughs> I'm very yeah. rich. <laughs> but in any well, case, would, you know, you yeah. have to do in a free society. You have to, you have to, or they'll mm-hmm. get butt hurt and they'll whine, right. and and we just can't deal with their whining. We want to shut them the hell up so you have to take care of it because you don't whine as loud. That's pretty much and, what it is. And I learned the lesson that if you want a peace and quiet life, then you got to live in a small place where there's not a lot of action and activity. There you go. I can never go back to what I grew up in. Oh, yeah. I, and I, I'll never yeah. be comfortable in it again because it's wrong. It just doesn't work. And I face that. I enjoyed the shit out of it when I did it. <clears throat> but now I'm older and now I've got, you know, longevity to deal with. So I'm starting to think, hey, wait a minute. Going down into Freetown and drinking all night ain't so smart anymore, you know? Yeah. Well, it takes each person what it takes to get them where their happiness point is if they ever get it. And I'm I'm convinced now that it, it's a decision that I make. You know, I could look at all the negative stuff about Denmark if I chose to. Oh, but I've tried Danish and I can't. I People never know what I'm saying, so I gave it up. And they just go with, oh, yeah, we know English is fine. But, you know, I could snivel about it if I want to instead of being the weaker of the two languages. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, am I making a point at, the, at all with this? Yeah, you're making a point. It's besides well, the one on I, the top of your head. Yeah, I could make it more difficult for myself if I chose to, but I looked at it like that. That was my decision. I want it as comfortable for everybody, me included, not just me, but everybody, and then we'll just deal with it like that. It seems to work, but it wouldn't work so well in a very, very populated place like, um, I don't know, maybe New York, Chicago, L.A., London, Miami. I'm thinking of, well, maybe I haven't been to Chicago. But from what I've seen, and my brother's been through it, no, I'll pass on that one, too. But I've been in my, you know, lived in Miami and London and New York and L.A., and I'm telling you, getting away from that, you you have to get away from it to even know that it's bad for you. You don't even know until you're out of it. Uh, uh, Yeah, a lot of times that's the way it works. (laughs) Yeah, I had no idea. Well, that was what I was... uh, I always tell people my indoctrination will kick the shit out of your indoctrination, you know, because I have my own form of indoctrination. I've just tried to stray away from the the most of it that I was aware was not good for me. And being not good for me is being told what to do all the fucking time. Hate it. Well, if if you got requirements, I don't want to fill them. If our friendship depended on uh, me fulfilling an obligation and doing this, I mean, outside of normality, like being civil and such, but, you know, if there was like a, a list of 10 things I had to do, I wouldn't do any of them. Just because you, you showed me a list of 10 things I had to do. That's how defiant that system made me. Oh, see, and I... Mm... The only mm. the only demands I put out there are demands on myself. Yeah, well, you, and plus you're not your average person out in the world. You are a unique little dork, Mary. So, <laughs> I, I mean, you know, it's not like you're run of the mill and ordinary. There, there's not a lot of Marys, as there are not a lot of Mooses, as there are not a lot of Grimners. You know, yeah. Hansel's dime a dozen. Now, I like Chloe a little bit more because she's an artist and I give her a lot more room, you know, but she's not forceful about her political shit anyway. And I tease her about being called, I call her lefty. She jokes back. Mm -hmm. Hansel, not so much. You know, I mean, Hansel's more the kind that wishes other people death and crap. I've never seen Chloe do that. But they're both on that same authoritarian, uh, this should be a law and that should be. And if you live your life and just be a normal fucking person, I found out for me, I don't need all that shit because I'm not looking to do anybody harm in the first place. Now, if my devious side ever surfaces, <laughs> I think Cirque would see it. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would be my my uh, radar gun. You know? You're falling off your good guy seat. 
wake up stupid. And, you know, I would go, oh, am I behaving badly? Oh, I didn't notice. Yeah. 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 And that's, well, these are decisions that I've learned to be able to make for myself because of the life that I came from is not the same as the life I have today. Well, and you know what? Everybody can say that. It's just varying but degrees. If they want to, I don't know. I'm just talking for me. I don't talk for everybody else. They they sometimes think I do because I use the words you, you, you like an idiot because I was taught to speak improperly. It's not my fault. I'm an idiot. But the good side is every once in a while I'll say something funny or something that you know is true. And the other shit you disagree with, fuck it, shuck it. It's not worth remembering anyway. Fuck it, shuck it. Hey, there yeah. you go. Yeah. If you come to the dork table and you don't get a giggle, then, you know, that wasn't my intention. Well. Because this was all about straying off the beaten path and not supporting everything that everybody else likes. And be honest for fucking, you know, two hours. What? It won't kill you. Not you, but me. You know, two hours of, yeah, I don't like that. And it's not popular, but it's what I think, you know. And it doesn't make it real to you. It just makes it real to me. So judging other people by their opinions as I get older, I'm starting to realize what a trap it truly is. Yeah, it's, it separates us in the herd so that we're different. And yet, you know what? I still judge people by their opinion based on their actions as well. Because you can voice an opinion, but when mm. you back it up with action... Oh, then, yeah. well, then I yeah. kind of, I go into my little, especially if it's, well, I go into my judgmental mode. I really do. But judgmental doesn't necess mm. isn't necessarily a bad thing. Mm. You know, it's how we survive. It's how we view oh. and perceive the world and how we, how we survive when things get a little bit dicey. So, well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say to Kate. Yeah, I've seen Chloe defend herself from a couple of people, in oh. my opinion, or fuck around with people she's close to and not be in on the inside joke. But um, I've never been attacked by her, you know, and I'm pretty nasty and, and out there with some people and eh, Chloe. Eh. But I've seen her and Beth go at it. And I think Beth goads her on. Oh, you know? well. Just like I you goad Hans along. For, yeah, if it's not Beth, it'll be or Beth. If it's not Chloe, if I'm out there or Cirque, it'll be Kami this or Kami that. You know, some people just do that. I've learned to avoid them. Well, uh, Chloe, I don't know. If you don't like somebody, that's your personal choice. And of course, I'm me, so I'm going to see the worst in the people that I want to see. Then I'm going to stop wherever I'm pleased with it. If I don't like you, your words will just either fuel it or show me that I'm wrong. But yeah, it's all interpretation. And I'm just talking. You know, I'm just on the radio for a few minutes talking shit anyway, Kate. My opinion doesn't mean anything to anybody but me. But I don't think other people do either. <laughs> well, and yeah. you know yeah. what? There's, there's, mm. yeah, you have missed a few times where there have been... Wishing oh, sure. death on people but, and because I, I, so I mean I I've seen stuff But you know when I see shit like that or I see a battle going on where people are egging each other on and stuff Yeah, for the yeah. most part I freaking ignore it because it, it's not my Thing to get into oh, and if oh, okay. I decide to if, jump into it then I jump into it And I then do, when okay. I get tired of it I back out of it. It's just but that simple I, I used Chloe because Chloe is an artist too and Chloe and my wife both they communicate Yes. And I see the, and I see the chat between them on the ch on the chat and it just opened up the idea. That all right. Maybe she's wrong about what she does at the times that she does it, but it's not a constant. You know, she flows a little bit. She's not as stern as other people. She's not as stern as I am about what I despise. I will openly fucking tell you, don't do that shit. I will fuck you up every time you're here verbally or whatever it is, you know, whatever game I'm playing. So we. We just do the stupid shit we fucking do and then try to justify it later. Yeah. When it's all crazy, it's all crazy and wrong. I think a part of me knows it and a part of me fights it, you know, because I want to do things and interact and be part of the group and all that crap. 
Well, and I there's just... layers, Mary. I think there's layers of us. You know, there's a part you show your friend, and then there's a part you show your best friend. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And there you go. Yeah. And there's not room enough in the world for you to be that close. What? Oh, before the show, I'll, I'll bring this up. Before the show, I told Mary. I would say that nobody I personally know could take a piece of paper and set it down on the table and write a list of a hundred names, first and last names of a hundred people they personally know, excluding family. I couldn't do it. I couldn't either. Not first and last name. All right, but but I use that number 100 because I think a society of 150 is going, that's when you start breeding the weirdos. That's the tipping point. So we don't even know 100 people. I mean, most normal folk don't associate with that many people that they know 100 people's first and last names. Yeah. Okay, but they've got us con that the United Nations... <laughs> does this and does that and does this, but in your personal life, do you even know a hundred piece people personally oh, to yeah. make these global decisions about what's going to kill this guy and what's going to save that guy? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> see, well, see, and to me, it's like, who the fuck are you anyway? It doesn't make shit, but a difference how many people they know, because I personally, me personally, I know yeah. little little Miss Weirdness Mary. <laughs> I personally yeah. don't think anybody should be able to make a global decision. No, there, I, I just I made that. a global decision. So no, you did not. You you did uh, not. You that is not a decision. I okay. would consider it's a statement. Now. Yeah. How, what did you do? A decision to do what? To stay out of something? Uh, okay. So it's a decision. It doesn't involve me. Yeah. You're, you're not doing something is my goal. Not, that's not my enemy in any way. The cop that doesn't go to work today and shoot somebody, I hope he has a nice day off. Yeah, well. I, I'm totally, I'm convinced after living here for this many years, without the police protection presence, that society, if it's just maintained under a certain amount of people, that there's your problem right there. All this diversity shit and all this mixing everybody together has made a soup that we can't eat. Yeah. 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 You know, and I'm not going to go all Nazi and, oh, we need to purify race. Fuck. You know, life is life. And, and I think people take um, memes on the Internet and they, they let them work on their brain or something. You know, like I met a Nazi a couple, I think about a year ago. He was down at the train cleaning the glass uh, because he walks his dog. And he did hey, I'm going to sweep this up. People have been breaking glasses. So we talked, and I brought him back to the house. We had a coffee and a spliff and chitter chattered a while. And uh, so what? So he's a Nazi. Yeah. <clears throat> but other folk reading stuff on the Internet turned that into some big freaking deal. Like, you know, it was just three people having a cup of coffee, and their political beliefs were being – um, vocalized. So what? Doesn't you know? It's just talk. It's just chitter chatter. No violence. No world changing events. No Hitler. No no nothing. No Stalin. No Roosevelt. Just three people talking. Yeah. And somehow we've been managed to. Uh, they've managed to control us to the point where we think our beliefs, if we believe them in big enough numbers, that that makes it okay. Yeah, well, you know, you add enough zeros on it, the numbers become unreal. Well, there's these links about um, Gaza, Palestine, Israel, da-da-da-da-da, and my comments are usually the same. You cannot, uh, you can't call a land grab, well, a land grab is a land grab, even if you disguise it as a religious war, it's still a land grab. And that is one of the comments I get most disliked on. Well. And that is because people do not know history. What they know is stories they're told by peers, friends, and educators, politicians, clergy. But the truth, they're not interested in that. I posted maps of nineteen pre nineteen forty seven Palestine. It's not Israel. Yeah. Well. well yeah. My I have a brother that that 
I've gotten into that discussion and I've just finally decided he's he's not going to budge and so I just don't. Right, but, because the the mainstream harps on the kids defending themselves, not the fucking guys coming in forcing them to defend themselves. Yeah. And I'm telling you, Palestine is just a practice place for, for America. And it started out the other way. America was the the way they took Palestine over, and it's changed. And now they're starting to – it's a slow cook. This thing is going to take 30, 40 more years because nobody will fight Israel. But they're using Israeli tactics on the American public as ways to contain them when they have their staged riots and their uh, – what, what what else do they have there? Riots and uh, protests and whatnot. Uh, I I don't you know I really don't pay a whole hell of a lot of attention to that shit anymore. Okay, all right, I understand that, but you got to understand, a real riot is not organized. <laughs> well, no, it's not. It's not. Right. So these are not riots. They are organized. People are paid to go to somebody else's city and throw rocks through a window. Yeah. Because if you live in the city, why would you do that? That's stupid. Right through the front door of the place where you get your cigarettes and your munchies, you're going to throw a rock and break the window. Would you explain to me how that works out? Um, I can't explain to you because it's a totally foreign concept to me. Well, then let me introduce here this new idea to you miss mary i would say that people are willing to pay other people money to go to another town and in the course of a riot throw a brick through a window and uh, blame the local kids for it oh yeah yeah because they all look alike they're all evil i read oh, yeah. the links all the time i mean people want niggers dead and white people want Whites to, I don't know, join together and defend each other. And from what? Uh, from the Boogeyman of the Month Club. Right. But they're, they're promoting this violence, right? And they do it so stealthily. And it seems so real that it's turned into a reality. Well, you know, if you, what is that? If you repeat a lie often enough, mm. it, will, it will eventually be accepted as the truth. Yeah. Well, it seems to be that way, too. I don't know how many times I've posted fractional reserve banking. I don't know how many times I've brought up to people that uh, they want to talk about this court ruling and that court ruling. And I'll ask them, are you aware that some of the judges that are on these cases do not sign their oaths? That has nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the judge trying your case didn't sign his oath, but... That has nothing to do with it. Wow. That's wow. how dumbed down, intelligent fucking people that speak well, but got no... what? What's an admiral? Admiralty court doesn't have anything to do with this. They don't know their court system has been hijacked. They're, they're just defiant. If you try to tell them, they argue with you about it and protect the, the beast. That The masses, not... There's a few that get it, but very few. And yet, you know, I wonder, and I've wandered this often, and wandered off, and gotten distracted, and said squirrel, and all that fun shit. But there are times that I wonder if people just not only don't know it, but just completely ignore it. Will it <laughs> lose its power? I mean, if if yeah, you no, stop if won't. you stop no. feeding the beast, will the beast yeah. wither and die? No. And I'm not, not it, I'm not, not talking. Well, I'm not talking. You know, just um, staying out of trouble or all that other fun shit, but just completely just Ooh, stepping away, pretty. just just basically checking out of society. <laughs> you know, checking no, out of I've, the I've the whole that. bullshit. Mary. You have no. done that. Yes. And I'm telling you, it's it. Uh, no, it's the. As far as helping anything, no. Uh, -uh. it helped me, but it didn't do any fucking thing for anybody else, because there's too many people that are willing to do the evil shit that needs to be done to survive. See, and I just don't see it as a. It, none of this stuff is going to work as a 
as a quick fix. There ain't no such freaking critter as a fi quick fix. Well, sure there is. There is. I guarantee I have the fix. I just can't get the compliance. Well, and see, that's where it's not a quick fix. You may have a fix, but there isn't a quick one out there. There just plain isn't. Not Stop without lying. breaking. If everybody a... just lived yeah. in the reality instead of all these bullshit lies. Medicine, politics, and religious have put this foundation down for us. It's made out of crap. It's shit. Yes, it and is. And there's not enough resistance because they keep enough people in poverty to need it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a game. We're being played like a fiddle. It's yes. so obvious to me. And I'm telling you, my stepping out of it didn't didn't change anybody's life but mine. And yet it does because those that you talk to, you plant a seed. And see, that's that's what I don't think a lot of people get is you're setting an example Everything wow. that you do, you are setting an example for someone else. And it may not be an obvious change, but you do help affect change. But you can't do it without that other person being ready for it. So that's where there is no such thing as a quick fix. Because if the mindset isn't ready, it's not going to happen no matter how good the intention that's why that highway to hell is multi-lane, <laughs> because there's so many good intentions out there that are falling on either deaf ears or unprepared ears. And so we just keep going and just keep speeding up. And I just decided that, you know what, mm. I'll, I'll sit on the shoulder of this highway because I know I'm not going to completely get off of it, but mm. I'll sit on the shoulder and occasionally someone will stop and say, are you doing okay? And I, mm. I may chit-chat with them for a while, and I may not. You know, they may think that I'm an absolute nut job. <laughs> a lot of people do. <laughs> well, I understand both sides of it, though, you know, because I've lived amongst the nine-to-fivers, and I've lived amongst the one-percenters, you know. And to me, I don't really think... People are all that different in the in the long run. People are looking, not different, no. But we're all, we're all looking for the same thing in 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 the game. It's just some people are more willing to go to extremes to get those things than others. Well, it's 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 basically expanding your comfort zone, and I don't mean expanding it as in making it bigger. I mean <laughs> expanding it as in, you know, uh, figuring out things that are a little bit different that would still you would still be in a comfort zone. Mm. It's just a completely different comfort zone. It's not that it's less than. It's just different. Yeah, well, my little wife has started a new painting, so I'm going to have her post it on the RLM and show it off. That would it's be awesome. Wet. It's still wet, but it looks pretty. Yeah, she, she did pretty good in the afternoon okay. with it. No, it's not finished, but... It's it's a work in progress. I me if I was painting, I'd wait until I was done. She likes to do the stages. Oh. Now, oh. I'm a sneaky fucker, you know. Well, I would love to see it because yeah, Circles well, is a hell of an artist. Yeah, RLM. Just give her a few minutes to do it. You crazy, hurry up and instant everything, lady. You. Yeah, I know. God what dang. What are you gonna do? I'll get. I'll get me can of spinach and I'll just kick your butt all over this boat. Ah. Yeah, you go right ahead. I'll find olive ah. oil. Olive boy. Yeah. Bl that, Blue mm. Who whoever drew that cartoon and made <laughs> olive oil the va va voom of that cartoon. <laughs> it's like, uh. whoa. Dude, you seriously have okay. What I tell you about a drunk man and a ham sandwich, right? Well, yeah, that's pretty a much. Guy that's OD'd on, um, what was he eating? Spinach. Ah. When, well, yeah, it affects your eyesight. So you you think the absolute plainest girl in the world is not. Well. So eat your spinach and. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I know some people that visually, they are not necessarily anything to write home about, but. Mm hmm. You know, when you get to know them, they are absolutely beautiful people. And so the visual actually gets enhanced when you get to know them, as opposed to people that are visually pleasing. And when oh, you yeah. get to know them, <laughs> they are pleasing. absolute beasts. Yeah. 
Well, I've seen some weird shit on the internet this last couple of weeks. Let me tell you. Wow. I don't. Sometimes I wonder what planet I'm on. Um. Well, right now I think it's called Earth, but yeah. you know, that could change. Depends on how they how they tweak the matrix. Yeah. Well, I can still you know coming from where I came from and all that, I still do not understand how do they justify the violence. Any of it, all of it, you know, why don't, why is there nobody out there that to take a, a stand, not, oh, the black man is this, and oh, the white man is that, and all that crap, but hey, we're people, why are we killing each other, what the fuck is going on, how did we get there? I have no idea, I, I have it, no idea. It's, it's serious, it's like talking about getting a haircut. Kill them, kill them, kill them, bomb them. Blah, blah, blah. What? I don't I, know. I grew up a bunch, you know, amongst a bunch of people that didn't want any war. You know, just want to be left alone and do their little life and have a good time. And here we are all these years later. And you know what didn't change? Well... And I grew up the around war. a bunch of people that still remembered the Germans being in, you know, isolated here in the USA. Yeah. It wasn't just the Japanese that got put in internment camps. Because I have some ancestry that they came from Germany. They originally came from Russia, but they came via Germany. And, yeah, they spoke like Germans, well, and so they were shunned, and they got shuttled aside, and... And I have, I have relatives, or not anymore, they are no longer mm. amongst the living, but mm. that remember those times during World War II. And, and they didn't do anything, but they spoke with a certain type of accent, and so therefore they had to be avoided, they had to be shunned, they had to be treated badly. And I just, I don't grasp that concept at all. It's very simple. Are you sitting down? Yes, I am. Okay. Put your coffee cup down. This is going to shock you. Okay. There's no profit in, in peace. Well, that's true. Period. End of story. And so that's where my thing that's steps it. in that, you know, just get rid of the monetary system. Period. Dush. No, get rid because, of it. No. It, it, no, it's not that easy. You can't. How could you possibly? How would you ever take Woody's fucking um, Bitcoin away from him without a fight? Are you insane? He wouldn't have anything fun to do. Now, come on. Well, and see, the monetary system keeps us grasping after I this I understand. Stuff. I'm telling you, I fight this fucking thing with everything I got, and it doesn't help because it's still there. You know? Okay, Grimmy and just shared so something many... from Mines, and I got yeah. to gotta respond to this. Grimmy, huh? honey, if the sun is flat, the moon is too. Oh, That's the true. only way that theory works. If the sun is flat, yeah, the moon is too. Yeah, but uh, see, it's just shit to keep us arguing. It does the truth or the right answer doesn't even fucking matter. It's just argue about it, waste your time, so you'll never be convinced. Baking soda will cure cancer. Cannabis oil will cure cancer. You can't say these things. You can't prove them. You can't say them. They're not popular. You're always going to have resistance. Why? Because it's true. Tell a lie out there. Oh, Oprah's going to run for president. You'll be on the fucking internet talking to people for 12 hours. Ugh. No, I won't. Get out get out there and post a meme for peace. Four people will say, hey, that's a good idea, and you'll be all by yourself. Yeah. Because we're all groomed to be violent, bloodthirsty little cunts. Hmm. And when you refuse to be a violent, bloodthirsty little cunt, that's where your problems really start because then people think, oh, you're afraid and oh, you're maybe, the, you know, they don't ever give a, a conscious thought to maybe the person that all of a sudden doesn't want to be violent anymore has been there and doesn't want to do it anymore. It's over. You know, let me get beyond that and not do that because always horrible shit comes of protecting yourself, you know, and I don't run around attacking anybody. So where's the violence part come in? I don't know. I saw the other day someone being attacked because they they ad admitted that they are a peacenik. And it's like, why do you attack a peacenik? <laughs> if, you know, if someone's a peacenik, why are you attacking them? Obviously, yeah. they are not going to attack you. So, no. what the hell? Yeah. Which, to I, me, that is I a messed up mindset that has to go out and attack. 
Maybe like I've achieved that level of energy that I exude in the public arena, and it's calm finally. Maybe I'm not the um, the scattered twelve year old anymore. You know, uh, that's because what, what I still think, am. <laughs> yeah, but what you think of yourself and what other people see are usually not the same damn thing anyway. Yeah. I mean, you know, there are a few people that sit and think that everybody thinks everything about them all the time. Oh, they're looking at me. Oh, what? Hell, fuck half the people. I don't even notice them. You know? You know what I mean? That vanity thing they got. Oh, I wore my makeup this way and my clothes that way. Everybody will look at me and I pass by. Was that a girl? I don't know. Wasn't really paying attention. Huh. You know? Yeah, that brief, t t instead of that stop and look at them bullshit that we're supposed to do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I've been to Walmart. Man, go to go shopping in a pair of, of uh, shoelaces. I've seen tits before. What's the big deal? <laughs> and you yet, know? boobs rule the world. Exactly, but the only the magic tits that you marry matter because if if it's any other way, the wife gets mad. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's that's a sign of a decent relationship, you know. Well, uh, yeah. Concern yeah. doesn't have to be crazy. It's just hey, what, you know? Hey, I got two over here, too stupid. That kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got wackos that that think that because you married them that they can control what you do and what you see and what you hear and how you behave and all that crap. Eh, there's extremists. Yeah. Well, I'm a freedom extremist. I've taken it to a fucking level that my peers, my family, they're my brother's in awe. <clears throat> he's got all the fucking money and I'm going, but he's going, yeah, but you're doing good. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you don't need well, money to be doing good. Ex well, yeah, but we didn't we didn't know that until we were grown men. Well, see, and I grew up knowing that I mean I didn't I didn't really consciously think of it but looking back on it it's like you know we yeah, really didn't have back, a lot of money but we were doing <laughs> good yeah exactly right you have to tell poor people they're poor they don't even know what poor is they're just alive they're just living yeah. and there's some prick with a suit and a car comes along and says they work for a bank and you're poor people you gotta go what's a poor people dad <laughs> We yeah. are. <laughs> We're moving out. We're going to go live in the gutter. Ooh, yay. Well, and you know. There's more empty houses than there are homeless families in America through oh, bankruptcy yeah. court. Oh, yeah. These people are being scammed. Everybody, all these voters and supporters and people in groups and the ones that the religious nuts, all the, every group is they're a problem and they're there to be what they are a problem they're not helping anybody except the big money <laughs> you know that's why everybody's suffering yeah and yet the people with the big money don't they just plain don't grasp the concept you can't take it with you they don't care they're gonna leave it to their heirs their blood right heirs are you and kidding it... <laughs> and now they got all the poor people running around with this stupid shit about being staying white and staying this and staying green and all this other I, horse shit mm, it's all about fucking money and and i just keep thinking the more you focus on that shit the more we're gonna have of it and it's like why mm -hmm. why why do we focus on and keep paying attention to aberrant behavior Stay tuned for another episode of Flash and Grammy to find out the answer to that. <laughs> yeah. I, mm. I don't know. I don't. I'd sure like to make life better, but I don't think I can for anybody but me. Well, and that's just it's that's just that. I mean, you can't for anyone but you. Right. You know, I everybody is no responsible for their own. Yeah. That's it. I said no to thugs and it ended that was the end of that. Yeah. It's been many, many years since I had to deal with them. So I must have got what I asked for. Yeah, well. And I, I hope mm -hmm. everybody else gets what they ask for. Howdy, Cowboy Tech. I see you yes. made it. Yay. Better late than for never. That's right. That's right. Oh, my goodness. 
I would crawl across a, a, a field of dead Nazis to hear your sweet voice on the radio, Miss Mary. Oh, good God. <laughs> Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I, I just thought it was like, you know, it was just a little ridiculous with a hint of, ah, oh, he likes me. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> anyway. Oh, hey, Moose, Lord. Sorry I pissed you off, but I usually do. Oh, well, you know what? We're just about out of time. Yeah, I saw Moose in the chat and just thought about it. Ah, yeah, I just looked at my clock and went, oh, damn, time flies when you're having fun. And, because, and uh, you know, actually, Grimmy said time flies, and that's when I looked at the clock and was like, holy shit, Berth. Because uh, yeah. me and the Miss Moose, uh, we, we tend to differ on the, on the, uh, the overall scheme of things. And, uh, you know, that's You differ, and yet you don't, because I think you're both going at the same, yeah, towards the same angles. goal. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Her language is just different than mine, but the the meanings are pretty much the same. Yeah. It's yeah. fun. I have fun with it. I don't I don't care. It's just talk. Yeah. It live is. Live and let live. Yep. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Oh, and well. Even you white bastards out there that I don't really look up to, I hope you live good, too. <laughs> well, I'm just a Grammy cracker, so I don't know about that white bastard stuff, but... In any case, I don't case. even know what it means to be honest with you. And my wife's white, but I don't know. White? Mm, okay. Well, she's she's she stayed in I, the easy bake oven of life a little bit less time than others I did. Don't really, but I mean, I don't really. Mm, I just never grasped onto that uh, bigot thing. It I don't. Never it only has a, a meaning if somebody their... else gives it a meaning, and then it only has meaning to them unless they convince someone else that it has meaning. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty harsh on the voters, but I'm not harsh on people just for, you know, being idiots. That's life. <laughs> but voters really rub my last nerve, you know. That's yeah. why I pick on them so much. Ah, okay. Well, I've got my preferences, little Miss Mary. Ah, I know I you do. do what I, want. I know you do. Ah. Well, yeah. you well, know what? You know, I say don't harm, and then I say shit like that, but I don't mean it in harm, really. Yeah. And you know Tell what? You. We're done. Next We're week. out of time. Next week. Bye-bye. Thanks, y'all, for listening to The Dork Table here on Real Liberty Media. Tomorrow, don't forget, Grimner at noon Eastern time with the blues, closely followed by Hal Anthony, who's going to take your ass behind the woodshed and open up a can of whoop-ass. And then tomorrow evening, 7 p.m.